Good morning from Kyoto. I just woke up, done my makeup, and made the bed. And that's it. Oh, and I got coffee from the lobby. It's our first full day in Kyoto today, and yesterday was crazy. It was not like what I expected at all. To give a little update, we came here at the end of May and it was gorgeous and then it started raining because we entered the rainy season with June. And then in itself it's not so bad but it was literally a typhoon but it was crazy. The rain was crazy. I think the last time I experienced rain like that was when I was in a hurricane in the Caribbean. So it was similar. The wind was crazy. Anyway, everything was crazy. The trains were cancelled, everything was just... For a day, really, for a day, it was pretty rough. Yesterday we arrived at um, Tokyo Station and the lines... The lines were exactly how I imagined Tokyo would be. Everything was full, no one could go anywhere. There are these little like ticket border machines where you have to put your ticket in um, to get through. Those are packed, some of them weren't working. It was crazy. So lots of people who wanted to go to Osaka with the Shinkansen couldn't go because the trains were disrupted. So they all went yesterday when the train started running again. So we missed our train and already left late, which is insane. I didn't even know trains in Japan could leave late. Like all I know about trains in Japan are that if they are 30 seconds late, there's got an official apology. No one apologized. <laughs> we missed our train and it wasn't our fault. We were there over an hour early, which, um, really would have normally been silly but I thought hey come on let's like we don't know where to go and stuff but it was crazy it was crazy so we went on a different train that didn't have our seats reserved obviously so we had to stand for over three hours because the train also kept stopping anyway we arrived at Tokyo uh, in Kyoto from Tokyo much later than I anticipated but we walked around it's really pretty today we're going to a pretty shrine. I mean, everything here is pretty, um, but we're doing that. And then um, at four, we have a walking tour, which we didn't have in Tokyo. That's gonna be fun. And then tomorrow, I gifted my partner a um, bike tour around Kyoto. So we're gonna be on bike. And I saw how the traffic is here last night. So I'm pretty terrified now, but I'm sure it's gonna be great. But yeah, the weather is finally gorgeous. It's almost 30 degrees today. Um, perfect weather for being outside and being on a bike, I hope. Let's hope. Um, so yeah, there's plan for the next few days after... Oh no, third... We have three nights here, so... Three more days from now and then um, we'll be in Osaka for another three days and then we'll be in Okinawa, so we have... It feels like our trip is almost over because Tokyo is done, but Tokyo was really all, only our first stop, so... Now we're gonna keep going. Again, Kyoto is beautiful, very different. It feels much, much smaller. And it's only 1.2 million people here instead of like 18 million. So it makes sense that it feels smaller. It also feels a lot more touristy. There are lots more tourists visible because the place is so, or the touristy things are so packed, so small in a small area that I feel like everybody's here. So as soon as I arrived, it was like, wow. A lot of Westerners here, <laughs> but in Tokyo they're probably even more. We just don't see them as much because it's more, you know, spread out. I'm excited to see what the day has to offer. I'm excited to see all the Tory gates. There are over hundreds, I heard. And yeah, we have to take a direct train from here, the subway. It's 20 minutes, and I think we're gonna leave by nine. Um, if I was by myself, I would have already gone out at eight. It's 8:30 you now. But alas, we'll we'll get there. <laughs> so let's go. This is our room. A bit just on my makeup. This is the view. Not bad, not bad. The camera doesn't pick up that in these little hills over there you can see some um, really beautiful buildings. But how about I show you my breakfast of champions so usually in the mornings I'll have one of them or two this one is pretty big and I'm not really eating very sweet here 
But my partner had this the other day and it tasted amazing. And then my little coffee. So yeah, this is Curtis's stuff. Gonna have my breakfast now. The staff was so cute, they remembered it was a honeymoon. So I got those flowers. <laughs> but only for a little rest we got up quite early so we decided we will rest before our walking tour which is gonna be later but it was really really fun to go to the shrine and see all the tour gates we got um, a really cute souvenir which I'm excited about so we had this um, lovely older lady <laughs> write our names and wedding date on here I'm gonna bit so it stays it stays like that but this is my name and this is my partner's name and it's really lightweight it's just a mine out of wood for my our bookshelf i thought it was really cute also we are extreme family mart fans so we got matching family mart socks because why not <laughs>
and I never get up this early, but I decided to go to the bamboo grove and let my husband sleep. So yeah, I think it's gonna be really fun, but definitely early. Also got a bit of a sunburn yesterday. <sighs> yeah, like I said, it's six. I'm gonna go to the bamboo grove, come back here, and then we're sightseeing and taking a bike tour. So good, good day ahead. So if you want to go get up early, I was there, I don't know, at 7 something, 7? It was pretty, like, um, glad I went, but I don't know if it's super worth it for people who are not super keen, you know, if you are not sure to go, if you want to go, don't go. If you're really excited, definitely go. Now I'm off to the Golden Pagoda. Unfortunately, the commuting there is a bit tricky. It takes like 50 minutes and then by the time I arrive, I don't think it's open yet. And then from there, it takes another hour to get back to my hotel. So usually everything's really quick, but this route somehow is taking a long time. But I'm sure the pagoda is going to be lovely. I'm tired in oh so many ways Been gone for seven days I realized it's just walk around the suburbs and see where our actual Japanese people live so it's super residential here I can't even believe that there's a temple with a really famous golden pagoda somewhere here but apparently according to Google I'm on the right way <laughs> but yeah I mean I'm gonna just trust the maps <laughs> but it's gorgeous here the weather is great after the typhoon we experienced in Tokyo this is a nice change but yeah I saw all the school kids going to class in the morning it was really cool on the train so yeah so far so good it's pretty empty but it's also still closed so the temple opens in 30 minutes so yeah <laughs> but I'm listening to an audiobook very topical so I'm sure time will pass very quickly especially if there are not that many tourists here which I'm very excited about
취한 것 같아 자꾸만 웃음이 나 어린아이 장난 같아 Oh. 